Hello, Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. You guys, today I reached another milestone. I reached 12,000 subscribers, and I am very excited about that. Um, I want to thank you for joining me on this journey and just continuing to trust me with your beginner type projects. In today's tutorial, I'm doing kind of I guess I will call it an add-on to this tutorial. The other day, I made this tile with my name and my husband's name on it, and I used a script font called Joseph Sophia. Well, when I did that, I used the character map from my Windows 11 um, operating system, and I got some a few questions about how to access the character map from an iPad. Now, I usually do not do any um, crafting from my iPad. I typically only use my laptop or my desktop to do all of my crafting, but I didn't want anyone to feel left out. Now, I am by no means an expert on how to do um, use Cricut Design Space from an iPad. I do not have access to a MacBook or any other device. I do have an iPad and I will show you in this tutorial how to access the character map from an iPad. Now, please take note, you will have to download two additional apps that may, may or may not already be on your iPad. In order for me to access those special characters, the glyphs and the, like the heart that's in the middle right here, and these um, extra lines that are at the end of our names, I did have to download um, one app that's called iFont that that app was free. And I also downloaded another app that is called Unicode. Unicode, as of today, February 9th, 2022, that app is, I think it was $1 or it may have been $2. It was, it was a, at a reasonable price. I don't know how much the app will be at the time you are viewing this tutorial. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I am on my iPad, and remember, this this is my disclaimer. I do not do any crafting from my iPad. I am doing this tutorial as, <laughs> as a way to help those of you who have an iPad and you really want to access the glyphs and the extra features that are within your font choices. Now, I am going to do my very best. The first thing that I suggest you do is open the app store. I'm gonna to go to the app store and I am logged in on the app store. I'm going to search for an app that is called iFont. Okay, so I'm gonna just type I-F-O-N-T, search. And there are several that will pop up. I use this one right here with a little dot next to the I. You see it's already um, downloaded on my iPad. So. I know that it's downloaded because I can click open. I know this one is not downloaded. This font bot is not downloaded because I can still, I still have the option to get it. Okay. I don't have that one, but I font, it says find and, and install any font. So I click open. I font is a free app as of today, February 9th, 2022. Okay, I already have it installed. I don't need to do anything else. This thing at the bottom down here, this where it says Voyager at the bottom of my screen, that is um, an advertisement. So I'm not going to click that because the free version of iFont comes with advertisement. So I'm not going to click that. I already have it downloaded. Okay, so after you have iFont downloaded, the next thing that you will need to do or the next thing that I did was download an app that is called Unicode. So I'm going to go back to the app store. I'm going to, you know, remove iFont. I'm going to look for an app that is called Unicode. Okay. So I'm going to look at my options and there are several options for Unicode. The one that I'm suggesting you um, get is one that's called Unicode Character Viewer. I do have this one downloaded, Unicode Character Viewer, 
and I see that it only has three stars. There are several people who don't think that this is a good app. So far, so good for me. I haven't had any problems with it, okay? And this app does cost money. Um, I think I paid right at $2 for it, if I had to, to guess. It was not free, okay? So, but with Unicode Character Viewer, I can browse through the character map on my iPad, okay? And you can see the options here. I'm gonna go back to the App Store. So we've gone to the App Store, we've downloaded iFont, we've downloaded Unicode Character Viewer. The next thing that I suggest you do is go to your, um, you know, use your search engine, whatever search engine you have, to download the font of your choice, okay? So, you know, you might use Google Chrome or you might use um, whatever other search engine you have. You might use Internet Explorer. You might use whatever, you know, search engine you choose. I choose to use Google Chrome. Now, I'm on the Creative Fabrica website and I am looking through my profile and I'm going to look at some of the fonts that I have um, purchased from Creative Fabrica or that I've downloaded on other devices. This is a font, this one right here that's called Baby Doll, that I have, um, I've downloaded it, but just not here on this iPad. So once I click download here, I get an option at the bottom of my screen to also download it. I'm gonna click that, I'm gonna click Okay, so these are all of my downloads. I see that baby doll is still zipped. Okay, so I'm gonna click it. When I click it, then it there's a folder. There's a blue folder right here to the left. I'm going to click that blue folder. And there are two options. I'm going to open the one that is the open type font. Okay, and I can see it. And I'm going to then click this button right here in the top right. And I am going to, let me see my actions. Let me see the options that I have. Okay. I am going to save it in iFont. Okay, because remember I download, downloaded iFont. When that, then it will take it to the iFont app. Once I get to the iFont app, I see Baby Doll Regular. I'm going to click install. When install opens, it says this website is trying to download a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? I click allow. And then it says profile downloaded. That is the font profile. Review the profile and settings if you want to install it. Okay, I'm gonna click close. And then right here, follow the instructions below to complete the installation. So now I can click open settings and I should see something in my settings that's called Profile downloaded and profile downloaded comes up. Baby doll regular. I'm going to click install. I'm going to enter my passcode. Once my passcode is entered, I get a warning. It says this profile is not signed. I'm going to click install again. Install profile, install. And then it says profile installed. And that font is now downloaded, it's extracted, and it's downloaded on my iPad. Now I'm going to go to Cricut Design Space. Okay, so I'm gonna look for it on my iPad. Oh, I think I passed it. There's Cricut Design Space. I'm on a blank screen. I can click text and I can, you know, look at manage fonts. I'm gonna click done right here. I'm going to look at my system fonts. Now, baby girl should show up because I downloaded that. So let me see if it's there. There's, ba not baby girl, baby doll. Baby doll regular, okay? So that's what it looks like if I wanted to start to use it, okay? So now I've shown you how to download a font, but I'm not using baby doll because that's not the font that I used in the tutorial the other night. The font that I used in the tutorial the other night is the one that's called Joseph Sophia. So I'm gonna go back to text and I'm going to look for the font that's called Joseph Sophia. And here it is right here, it's already downloaded. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to uh, type in Peter's name. 
Okay, I'm just double clicking. I'm going to backspace and I'm going to type P E T E R and just move my keyboard out of the way. Now, remember in that tutorial I did the other night, I did not like the R that was in Peter's name. So what I did when I was using my laptop was I changed the R to one of the fancier R's that had a heart within the character map. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to use these three dots right here at the top and I'm going to do a split screen option and I'm going to open Unicode. Remember Unicode was the second app that I downloaded. I'm going to click browse fonts and I see Joseph Sophia is right there. I'm going to search in this font for that R that has the heart in it. Okay. Where is it? Okay. There it is right there. I see it. I'm going to click this upload option. I'm going to choose share glyph. Where do I want to share it? What I'll do is just copy it and I can close that out for now and go back to Cricut design space. Okay. And I'm going to look for, um, my text that I typed that I don't see right now. Oh, there it is. Okay. So now what I need to do is double click in there, just backspace and then copy the R that I just, I mean, not copy, but paste the R that I just downloaded from the, um, uh, Unicode character viewer. Now I know that I need to bring this R closer so that it's touching this E. And in my opinion, the best way to do that is to ungroup these letters. So I'm going to go to actions and I'm going to ungroup them and I'm going to take the R and just move it over. So that is connected to the E. Okay. Once I have that exactly how I want it, I'll take the whole thing and select it and then I will attach it just for now. Okay. So I have Peter's name and it's done. Now I'm also going to type my name because that's what I did the other night. Okay. I did a little bit differently there, but this is my best way of showing you how to do it here. So I'm going to type my name, Delonda. And as you can see, it came in really small and I'm okay with that. All right. So now I am going to remember on my name, I changed the A. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to go back to the Unicode character viewer right here at the bottom of my screen. Open it up. Browse fonts. Joseph Sophia. I'm going to look for that A that has a little swirl line at the end of it. Okay, let me see if I can find it. There it is right there. Okay, I'm going to copy, I'm, I'm click that upload, click share glyph, and I want to copy it. Okay, and then I'm going to open Cricut Design Space back up and click on the A here in my name. I'm gonna backspace and I'm going to paste it. Okay, and then I know I need to just do what? Move this A over. Let me move this down so you can see that I am going to um, ungroup these letters and I'm going to take that a and just move it over. Okay. So that is aligned and let me align um, all of these letters to the bottom. Okay. They look really good. And I'm also going to go to back to actions and I will attach it. Okay. So let me go back to Peter's name. When I did the tutorial the other night, I also changed the P in his name. So I want to do that here. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the Unicode character viewer. I'm splitting my screen. I'm going to choose Unicode. I'm going to click browse fonts, Joseph Sophia. And remember I had to use a lowercase P for his name. So I'm going to search for it because that was the only P that had um, a little swirl at the end. Okay. So I'm going to upload share glyph. Okay. I'm going to copy it. 
okay and then i'm going to open cricut design space fully i will detach it double click the p in his name i will delete it and paste the p that i wanted i'll move this keyboard out of the way and then i'll just move this p over i had to unlock it in that tutorial to make it um longer and make it look like it was a capital p i'll do the same thing here okay and then once i have it exactly how i want it i can go ahead and attach it back together and then now i'm going to find the way to bring my the view down on my screen so that i can put his name connected to my name okay for some reason i'm able to resize my the view now at first i couldn't i had to close cricut design space out and then just open it back up but the last thing i want to show you is how to put it all together so i have peter's name right here and i have my name and of course i want both of these to be connected so um, what i'm going to do is select my name and just move it over i am using my apple pencil for this but you could also do it with your fingers if you feel like you'll get a better result okay so i have my name there i'm going to select this whole thing let me weld his name let me go to mine and also weld and then i'll try to again to put them together okay that looks better well in order to align this i'm going to have to kind of just um, align it in the way that i see fit or the way that i think looks the best and it actually looks pretty good just like this so i will go ahead and select it and i will get all of it weld it together so i'll go back to actions and i'll click weld and i love the way that looks okay and so then you know i can do all the rest by adding my our last names to it but i'm not going to go into that because the purpose of this tutorial was to show you how to access the unicode character viewer which is also the same thing as the character map okay so hopefully this has been helpful for you so you just you know go and click make it once you get it all resized the way you want it to be on your tile okay okay so hopefully this was helpful for you and if you did find it helpful please consider clicking the like button and please consider subscribing to my channel. I do want you to continue on this journey with me. My goal is to teach you everything I know related to Cricut and Cricut Design Space and all of the beginner type projects. Okay, so we have the, we call it the Unicode Character Viewer. It's downloaded on my iPad and I have my font looking just like it did on my tile. Remember, I did this one from the character map that um that is available on my laptop using a computer that that's a computer that is operating windows 11. so this is my ipad i use my apple pencil for the most part and i use my fingers when i needed to so it uh, hopefully you found it helpful thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching bye